Previously on this channel, we've talked about the differences between wire rope, chain, and synthetic slings, but we haven't really taken a look at all the synthetic rope options. In this video, we're going to dive into twin paths, flat web slings, and synthetic rope slings. We'll be going through the pros and cons of each sling, when it's best to use each, and a better overall understanding of synthetic ropes. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the Lifting and Rigging channel. My name is Kay, and today we sat down with Mozilla's inside sales manager, Matt Burke. Matt has been with Mozilla for over six years and has an expansive knowledge on synthetic ropes. So let's see what he has to say. Web slings will range all the way from one inch up to about 24, could be up to 30 inches wide, depending on the configuration of the sling. Web slings can be made out of either polyester, which is the norm, or nylon, they're usually yellow in color, but they can be sewn with different colors. They're also lightweight. They can be used in a vertical choke or basket. With the different widths and plies that web slings are sewn to, you can get a uh, variable in capacities. You can add different types of protection to them, and you also have the option of having them sewed up with eye-to-eye -eye configuration or an endless configuration. You can get a lot of different configurations and add some protection to it and still be cost-effective but at the same time, you still gotta make sure you got a competent person inspecting your slings before each lift. There's a wide range of synthetic rope slings. Obviously, what you wanna do with synthetic rope slings is stick to the HMPE ropes. Um, those are your plasmas, the enduras, et cetera. You'll have a different uh, configuration depending on the diameter. It'll be just like a stranded rope, but when you get higher in capacity and higher in diameter, think of those smaller diameter ropes interwoven to create a bigger diameter. So you'll actually have, they call it a 12 by 12. Basically, instead of uh, smaller yarns and strings making up the strand for that rope, think of the smaller ropes making up the complete rope itself for the larger diameters. So as you get higher into capacities, diameters, the rope will change but still have the same characteristics. And at the same time, again, you'll have a high capacity HMPE ropes. A lot of them have the same strength as your steel wire rope slings. You have people that are used to using your traditional steel wire rope chokers. Um, the, you know, they come in the same form. They look pretty much the same. You know, a lot of what we do is the Plasma 12. It's purple in color. They're great for pulling. They're safe slings to use. If you have a 3 8 inch diameter wire rope choker and a 3 8 diameter uh, plasma sling, they're gonna be pound for pound just as strong as each other um, for diameters. Now, a good safety factor, if that sling were to break on you, say you're, you know, you're using it in a winch application and you're pulling, when you use wire rope, if that wire rope snaps on you while you're winching, that, that wire rope will snap back and hit whatever it is behind it or you know, in front of it. If you're using a winch application with the plasmas and that plasma rope breaks, it's gonna lay flat down. So it's not, you're not gonna have any backlash or back whip from a broken rope. So a twin pass sling, it's got a green tubing as the sleeve and it has a red inner sleeve underneath it. So it's a dual jacket. The synthetic fibers that are inside, it's what we call K-Spec. K-Spec is a high performance woven material that is the internal guts of the sling. And when a twin path is sewn up, the jacket comes in a normal green sleeve with the red inner tubing and it's sewn down the middle. And then that's where you get your two paths, where you get your name twin path. And through each path, you'll run the case spec yarns. There's a certain amount per the capacity of the sling that you'll run case spec through there, how many, however many times and how many spools. You'll get uh, high capacities, lightweight sling, and variables and lengths. The high capacity that twin path really brings to the table is a huge pro for them because you don't have to have a very big sling to take care of a, a large capacity. At the same time, they're also very repairable. You can live with a main pair and a backup pair, send the other the main pair in for inspection and repair, get those back, send the other ones in. You can really just get a revolving door for your uh, twin path slings and just say, hey, this is the sling that we use. We'll get a bin that we'll send out for inspection, send it into Mozilla, we'll inspect them, patch them up, repair them, proof test them, and uh, they'll, they'll get shipped back. With their capacity, you can have a couple different sizes and they'll take care of a number of different jobs for you. There might be instances that you run, that someone runs into that the capacity needed, it might not fit to the, the pick point, but that's very few and far in between. 
So the check fast system is a tail of about you know six inches of yellow string that's coming out near where the tag is on a twin path sling. It goes all the way through the sling, so it's a continuous endless just like the sling. And if that sling is overloaded, what happens is that check fast system, that yellow string, will actually, it'll snap inside the sling and get sucked into the sling. If you don't see your check fast uh, string out of the, the sling, you wanna take that sling out of service, send it in for inspection, we can check the sling from there. Major differences between the twin path, flat web, and your high performance synthetic rope slings is capacity. Depending on the job that's, that needs to be done, if it's a really high capacity, large object, the twin path is definitely your way to go. Factoring in elongation, you really have to factor that in with the web slings. Um, if, you use, if you're using nylon slings, you'll get up to 10% stretch in a nylon sling. If you switch to more traditional polyester material, um, the elongation is a lot less. You get around two, two to three percent elongation with a polyester sling versus the ten with nylon. So as you have people, you know, using the slings, if they're in good shape, they say, "Hey, I need a ten foot six web sling." Well, if you look at a tag, it's going to say ten foot because that elongation is stretched about six inches over time, and they might have just put a, a tape measure on it, or you know, worst case scenario, they're using a sling without a tag on it, and they just measured it to what it is. So really, that sling probably started out at ten foot. Fibers used for the high performance synthetic rope slings, uh, high modulus polyethylene, that has very low stretch characteristics, so you don't have to factor in too much stretch. And then with the twin pass slings, there's zero to minimal stretch. So if you have a critical lift coming up that you need some slings and you're not factoring any stretch in the slings, twin path is definitely the best way to go. Best application for a twin path is any critical lift. Um, High capacity, you know, if you're lifting a spaceship, uh, you want to be using twin path slings. Good applications for web slings is anything round, no edges. You can choke right around those things, you know, pick them up. Easy to slide under uh, tight spaces, being flat. Kind of your, your day to day picks, nothing too heavy. You got to pick something up with fire hydrant or something like that. You choke it around it and pick it right up. A good application for your high performance synthetic rope slings, winches, anything pulling because of that safety factor of no backlash. And also, you know, if you're just looking, if you're using a chain sling, a big chain sling for a big lift, and it's just, you know, it's, it's hard to lug that chain sling around and, you know, pull it out from storage or, you know, keep it on your crane hook, you're trying to lighten the load. Um, you can, you can put four legs of a plasma sling onto a master link and you got a four leg plasma bridle. Um, that could take the place of a chain sling or a heavy wire rope sling and lighten the load and they're a lot easier to use. The twin path sling is going to be more repairable. The reason being for that is because it's a double jacket. So when that first jacket, the green wool gets worn away from abrasion or it gets cut, you'll have that second layer underneath and it's red, so it's, it's easily seen. And if that's not punctured, you're good. Send it in for repair. We'll patch it up, proof test it, send it back out. For a flat web sling, once you get a cut in your flat web sling, it's pretty much done for. You know, it's made out of nylon or polyester. You get, you get snagged under something, you pull it too hard. You get a tear in one of the yarns and it's, you know, it's better just to buy a new one because flat web slings, they're probably the most cost effective, but at the same time, they're the most damaged. For the high performance synthetic slings, they are repairable to a degree. The way you can repair that is if you have a cut strand and you still have some, some rope in there, you are able to unsplice that eye and then do the repair from there and splice the eye back in. You might have to sacrifice some length in there and you might end up with a shorter sling than a longer or the same length, so you might end up shrinking it. But if you're able to live with that, it's, that's a good option if you're using high performance uh, synthetic slings. Are you looking to further your understanding of slings? We've got a free online lifting sling inspection course. Check it out in the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if you have any questions or just want to say hi. Once again, my name is Kay, and I'll see you later.